Yo guys, what's going on? C Mac here. So, got all the prices, all the prices, all the prices together for my R6 last night. Ended up totaling 1.933 or 1.966. 1.966. Um, thousand. So that's the quote from Team Moto, as well as all the prices for the aftermarket parts. Um, and then add the 600 bucks on top of that for the actual repairs. So send all of that information off to a guy that crashed into my bike uh, and basically said to him that I'm happy to remove the $600 for the repairs and I'll do them myself. Uh, and he tried to call me last night, but I was asleep, so I need to give him a buzz today to find out what's going on. Uh, his last message was just like, yeah, everything should be okay. So, I'm not sure what that means. Um, but yeah, I'll find out today, I guess. Watched State of Origin last night. Pretty close match. I honestly didn't think that Queensland was going to do it. It was, final score was six to four. And for the last maybe 20 minutes, New South Wales just had the ball the whole time, was just at our defense over and over and over again. So it was a pretty close match. It wasn't like standard origin games where there's just last minute miracle breaks and just amazing plays, but there was still a couple of highlights and stuff that were pretty cool as well as what was hilarious was listening to the interview with Sam um, Sam Thide at the end of the match he <laughs> he was like oh it's just like losing your virginity it's tough but you've got to do it Oh my god, I lost my shit when I heard that. Apparently, so my parents listen to the radio in the car when they're going to work and stuff, and apparently he's on the radio fairly often and stuff. And yeah, he comes up with stupid shit like that all the time. Hoping it's not going to rain on me. I remember looking at the forecast two nights ago. And I said that today there was a possibility of rain and I'm in a bit of a rush, I got up late so I just jumped on the bike. But yeah, the clouds are looking a bit ominous as well as the roads are already a little bit slippery today. Just need to keep my fingers crossed, hope for the best, see how it goes. There was two rookie players that it was their first time in Origin playing last night, one on the New South Wales team and one on the Queensland team. Um, I think the one on the New South Wales team's name was Morrow or something like that. What was the name of the guy on the Queensland team? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, both of them played phenomenally. They were both giving it their all. The one on the New South Wales team in particular, he was awesome. Jesus. And that truck was not slowing down for this guy. I guess that's one way to learn that you need to get up to speed on an on-ramp. Have a truck next to you and have it not slow down. More people need to do that because there's a lot of shit drivers that just don't understand what non ramps for. <laughs> They've got a little hut that they set up <laughs> so that they don't get wet. Nice. My bike's going to be nice and filthy with all this water on the road. Anyway, I'm pretty much at work, so I'll see you guys in a sec.
I want to kill this guy. Like, absolutely kill him. So, I spoke to the guy who crashed into my bike today. And he's trying everything he can to get out of paying me for the damages that have been caused to my bike. I am not happy. Oh my god. I have been like on the edge of my seat at work all day, just in the mood to fight, basically. Cannot stand that somebody who knows hands down that they are at fault would try and palm this off. Oh. Oh, I'm so mad. He was trying to say that I was illegally parked and it's and that he just didn't know. It's like in order for him to get to his car he had to walk past my bike. My bike was not illegally parked. He was actually illegally parked because he was facing the wrong direction for the flow of traffic. He tried to say that there's no proof that my bike wasn't damaged beforehand. It's like, dude, I was at a bike event that night. I've got footage and videos of my bike in pristine condition before the incident. He was trying to say that I said it was only going to be a couple hundred bucks and so he shouldn't have to pay that. I said that night that I don't know for certain. I assume it would be a couple hundred bucks but I have no idea as I've never had to fix anything on my bike before, on this bike in particular before. Oh. He tried to say that he can't get the money together to pay something like that. He's not happy to pay it for the damage in terms of like my levers and indicators and stuff that are broken. And that it didn't seem that damaged when we looked at it. It's like we looked at it in the middle of the night. Yeah, we looked at it in the middle of the night and the quote has been put together by a professional team. I paid for that quote. It's not like they're going to put shit on there that's not on there because then that diminishes their name, the company's name. Ugh. I even said to him, it's like, I've taken off close to $700 worth from the quote. They want $600 for the repairs and the quote alone costed me about 100 bucks. Like, if I didn't have the knowledge that I do and had to get it repaired by them, it would be costing an extra $700. Like, he's getting $700 off. <sighs> he's trying to say that, oh, he can't get that much money together. Like, I don't care if you have to sort out getting some sort of a loan or Getting the money is his concern, not mine. And he's like, oh no, I'm not gonna get a loan for something like this. I've got too much other stuff to pay for. It's like, well, dude, you've hit my bike. I can take legal action if I want to. Like, you do not have a leg to stand on if I take legal action and that will cost you more. You will have to then pay legal fees on top of the damage that has already been caused. The nerve that some people have. Uh, I came this way thinking that I wouldn't be stuck in the traffic. Looks like that's not the case. The highway's pretty backed up at the moment. Oh. Uh, I really just need to hit something. This is when I wish I was still fighting. I'm so glad that I have this GoPro and now I film almost everything. Now that I've got footage of, yeah, my bike beforehand and my bike afterwards. And the incident, how he was parked. 
if I need to, like I have multiple witnesses before the event happened, well like at the, not before the event, I'm so flustered I can't even put fucking words together. And then he was like, oh, well, why don't you have comprehensive? Because then I, if you had comprehensive, I could just pay your excess. It's like, no. If I had comprehensive, still wouldn't be paying my excess because if you do that, then I get a bad record against my name. So all of my premiums go up. And not only that, because I would be taking out full comprehensive after the event, they would be asking questions about when it happened. And if they find out that it happened after the event, that I got insurance after the event had happened, then that is insurance fraud. And I would be blacklisted and it would be next to impossible for me to get any insurance on anything in the future. So that's definitely not happening. I wish I had recorded the phone conversation that I had today just so I had it all on record what's happened here car crash or something oh that doesn't look too good hopefully they have insurance I'm like some fucking idiots that are out there Ugh! Like, he asked me to take a look at the quote and see if I could take anything off. And it's like, in order to do that, I think I've already mentioned, but in order to do that, then my bike's not being repaired properly. It was in mint condition, and you fucked it. I basically told this guy before I hung up on him that I'm going to call him back tonight. He can have a bit of, like, I was at work and couldn't speak. Had to go. So... I was going to call him tonight and he can have a bit of a think about it as to how he wants to sort out getting these funds but basically it's up to him and that's when he said whether I can think about if I can think about taking anything off the quote because it's just too expensive he's happy to pay like a couple grand but he can't pay two two thousand dollars I have definitely broken the fucking mad scale at the moment right now. I'm well beyond measurable amounts of madness. <sighs> anyway guys, I'm pretty furious right about now as you can probably tell. So I'm gonna end this video here and try and compose myself before I get home and just actually like kill something or someone which is what definitely what I want to do right now. But yeah, if you like hearing people rage, then smack that like button. And if you want to see more, or see how this tale unfolds, subscribe. It's going to be an interesting one. I'll check back with you tomorrow. I'll let you know how it all went down tonight. <sighs> Fucking losers. Anyway, C-Mac out. Peace.